Uh, hello, we're group 12. Uh, our topic is ACL replacement and regeneration. Uh, I'm Benjamin Hassett. I'm Ben Grounded. Uh, and the other two couldn't make it today. Uh, so our topic is the regeneration or reconstruction of the ACL, the anterior cruciate ligament. Uh, tears in this ligament are one of the most common orthopedic injuries in the world. Uh, in the U.S. alone, there's over 200,000 injuries a year and over 100,000 uh, operations. Uh, of that, it usually costs around $2 billion a year, making it a fairly large industry. Uh, of that, the age range of those most affected are 14 to 45 years old, since they're the most active in their life. Uh, men make up the majority of the injuries at the time, however, women are more predisposed to experience a tear. Uh, the gold standard for how this is taken care of is autographs and allografts. Uh, so, autographs usually are taken from the patellar tendon or hamstring, uh, and allografts are usually taken from the quadriceps, hamstring, or Achilles tendon of a cadaver. Uh, these have a fair number of controversy related to them. Uh, usually, we've seen 10 to 15 years on, there's a greater risk of osteoarthritis in patient, patients. Uh, if it's an autograph taken from the patellar tendon, there's a good chance for patellar tendonitis. Uh, they, the recovery time is usually six to seven months, and these are usually very invasive procedures due to having to take a graft or find a graft and then drill holes for placement in the patient's bone. All right, so the product we're proposing to replace this is rather than like these other procedures do, removing the remains of the ACL, uh, we are hoping to reattach them and provide an environment where the tissue can regrow naturally. So we're proposing a degradable polymer uh, clip fixation device that utilizes a micro pin and hole uh, attachment in order to hold the tendon in location and also provides a collagen scaffold that has been seeded with a variety of growth factors such as insulin-like growth factor and transforming growth factor. Uh, these pins also hold it in a good location and allow enough stresses to come through that the uh, uh, directionality of the tendon is still maintained during recovery. Uh, we decided on a 24 millimeter by 14 by 6 uh, dual plated clamp um, with an opening uh, for the tendon to remain uh, and these pins go peripherate through the tendon at a variety of locations and hold it in place during recovery. Uh, this is a method that the surgeon could choose over others after determining the uh, nature of the patient's ACL uh, damage because if the ends have become too frayed or if there's been avulsion from either bone, uh, this method would not be applicable. But the growth factors will encourage fibroblast migration and should speed up the time to recover over other methods. Um, so this would be a single operation um, with no need for follow-up due to the degradable nature of the device. Um, there would be no need for additional wound sites for taking tissues for allo or for autographs. Um, there's a reduction in damage to the actual tissue over things like um, uh, sutures and things like that. Um, uh, a, and there's no need, unlike other regenerative methods, to culture cells for a period of time as the cells currently in the body will receive the graft. Um, it is, the downsides are it is a difficult design to fabricate, being uh, highly complex. Um, a larger incision is needed in order to insert the device than other methods. Um, it does not work for all kinds of ACL fracture, and uh, a polymer buildup can occur uh, during degradation. Uh, and so our competition to ours, as we said before, there are the autographs, mostly bone patellar tendon bone autographs, as well as hamstring autographs from the patient's own uh, system, uh, allografts uh, from the Achilles, quadriceps, and hamstring of a cadaver. Uh, there are synthetic means, however, they're not used due to lack of, um, I guess, reliability, which is the LARS, the ligament augmentation and reconstruction system. And then there are regeneration systems, uh, specifically the bridge enhanced ACL repair is a sponge seated with the patient's own blood and platelets to encourage growth. And then there is a stem cell street treatment with blood platelets uh, pioneered by Regenex, which is just an injection into the knee to encourage uh, regrowth. And that is our presentation. All right, thank you for your time.